In this video, we are going to walk through a very beginner project using the Xtool S1 40 watt diode laser. This is a great video if you have just received your S1 and you're not quite sure where to start. So we are going to walk through a project from start to finish. We are going to cover all the basics, all those questions that you might have. We are covering those today. If you don't have a laser yet and you're considering this one, this might be a really good video for you to watch and just understand the creative process. So let's get into it. This is what we are making today. This is a cut and engraved wood keychain. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn the machine on, which is this button on the back here. It is already plugged in. This is the Xtool S1 with a 40 watt laser head. This is also gonna work with the 20 watt laser head. It will not work with the IR module. I have a couple accessories with my machine. But I'm gonna to try to use the most basic model here. So you can get a honeycomb that goes in the bottom. If you have that, you can put it in right here, push it all the way to the right and all the way to the front. We are going to use the triangular prisms that come with your machine. These prisms just sit in the bottom of the machine and they lift your material up off the base. It helps you get a good clean cut. You just want to use a couple and make sure they're evenly spaced. For this project, we're going to use a piece of three and a half millimeter basswood. This is a great material to start with. So I'm just going to set it on those prisms. I like to move it all the way to the front as far as I can. And then I want to make sure that my laser head is somewhere over the material. There is a red crosshair right here, and we just want to make sure that that is on top of the material. Now we can close the lid. I have air assist attached to mine. And if you have that, just make sure it's set to auto. That's going to allow your software to pick the right settings for the project that you're doing. The vent hose is out my window. If you have a smoke purifier, you can connect the hose to that as well. This piece of foam right here, this is just a piece of packaging foam that came in a box and I cut a hole in it so I can put my hose out. It's kind of a rigged up thing, but it works really well for me. You can open up Xtool Creative Space or XCS on a computer. My machine is connected via USB to my computer. You can also connect via Wi-Fi. If this is your first time using the software, you will be prompted up here to connect your machine. If at any point when you open the software or your machine is connected, you are prompted to download a new version of the software or firmware, definitely do that. You are gonna get the best results by doing that. So we're gonna get rid of this layers thing here because we don't need that right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is over here on the right, we wanna make it a flat laser. You do have some other options, but we are just doing a basic flat laser for right now. Now we're gonna pick the material. Anytime you can use one of these materials, go for it. These are going to auto-populate cut and engraving settings for you, and they usually work really well. Once you get more familiar with the machine and the software, you can start playing around with settings. But we have a piece of three millimeter basswood in the machine, so I'm gonna select that. The crosshairs, the red crosshairs right here, are currently over the top of the basswood. So now I can click this little button by distance and this is gonna auto measure and focus the laser. Now that we're focused, we're gonna skip down here to where it says start marking. When I click that button, a box pops up and it tells me exactly what to do. Once you've gone through this process once, this is really easy. But essentially we're gonna use a two point positioning system to tell our software where the material is in the machine. So I'm just gonna follow these details. I'm going to start by moving these red crosshairs all the way to the top left and then hitting the button on the right front of the machine. 
You don't need to close the lid to do this. When I hit that button, my coordinate pops up. Now I'm going to move the crosshairs down to the bottom right and again hit the button. Now I have my coordinates set. If you do not want to use the whole part of your material, or maybe there's a cutout on part of it, you can make your box any size and just frame up the part of the material that you want to use. Now on the canvas, I have this green box. This is where my material is, and this is where I want to put my design in. I find it really helpful to do the focusing and the marking first before we even import a design. So now it's time to bring in something. Over on the left here, there's a lot of things you can do. You can use all of these shapes, you can add text, you can use some AI magic that's really cool. But what we're going to do is bring in an image that I found on Creative Fabrica. You can find this bundle down below. Uh, Creative Fabrica has a ton of laser friendly images. They also have some great SVG images, some stuff for sublimation. If you're a crafter, you may want to check that out, um, but you can find that link down below. I am going to use an SVG file. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. When a designer creates an SVG, they make it in a way that you, as the user, can stretch it out really big or make it really small, and it's not going to compromise the quality of the image. So this is the image I just brought in here. And if I were to click on that middle part and try to move it over, it's going to detach. Most SVGs are going to come in a couple different parts. I'm just going to hit undo so that goes back where it was. I want to highlight everything and then move it over to my area here. Now I am making a keychain and we are going to both cut and engrave it. So you can see up on the right that this is roughly three by three inches, and that seems just fine for me. I am going to increase the size of the canvas just a little bit here so we can see it a bit better. So there's two parts to this keychain. There is a cut part, which is the red outline here, and then there is an engrave part. So we need to make sure that those are set appropriately. So I'm gonna click on the red part and then make sure that circle is selected, which it is. And then over on the right, I get a number of settings. I can score, engrave, or cut, and I want to cut those. The material settings has reference. That's that three and a half millimeter basswood we picked before, and these are the settings it's suggesting. I am going to leave those. Now I want to click on the black part here, these mountains, and I want to fully engrave this. So if I click engrave over here, all of that black part is going to be scorched. It's going to be engraved. If I just click score, I'm going to get more of a line drawing. So for this keychain, I want it to be engraved. Again, that's my reference material, and these are the settings. Once you've done a number of different projects, you may find that you want to increase or decrease your power or your speed, but when you are getting started, just go with those settings. So we're all set to go. The next thing I want to do is frame. Framing, I find with the S1 is optional, but we're going to do it. I'm going to show you why. So let's click frame. I'm going to go over to my machine and I am just going to hit the button on the front. This is going to draw a box around the space where my item is going to be cut and engraved. It's just a double check to make sure that everything is happening in the right place. Everything looks really good, so we are going to hit Framing Completed. If you have an issue where you go to frame and the laser draws that little box and it leaves a mark on your wood, you can click these three little dots on the right-hand corner and you can turn down the power of your framing laser. I have never had that issue, but I know some people have, so if you run into it, that's what you want to do. So now we're ready to process our job. So we're just going to hit Process. There's a couple different safety checks here. So on my screen, I'm going to see the design. On the bottom left, it tells me about how long it's going to take, and then I can hit Start on the top right. This will not start until I go over to the machine and hit the button on the front.
So now that the job is complete, the laser has stopped. I like to leave the lid closed for just a little bit until the fan and the air assist shut off to make sure all the smoke has cleared. And this says it only took five minutes and 44 seconds, so a little bit less than that estimated time. So we can hit okay. And then if you know you wanna make this again, up here you can save your project and all of your settings are gonna be saved as well. So that was a step-by-step -step walkthrough of a great beginner project we use bastwood and both cut and engraved. If you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. I would love to chat with you. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos helping you along your creative journey. Thanks for watching.